Hello, welcome to this episode of Project Bread, Ginger Edition. My name is Bruce Nightwill, celebrity adventurer, explorer, war criminal, allegedly, and television host. Your task today is as follows. You have 20 minutes to complete the most structurally sound and aesthetically beautiful gingerbread houses possible with the ingredients provided. These are your judges. Violet LaRue, celebrity chef. Arthur Horton, celebrity blogger. May LaHue, she wanted really, really to be here. She won like a fan contest, it was a weird thing. Your job today is to impress them. Everyone knows there are two key ingredients to gingerbread. Ginger and bread. That is where today's challenge comes in. You will not have these ingredients, and so you must suffer through and succeed, as though I did in Cambodia. Your time starts now. Hi, my name is Charlotte. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Alaska. At only three, I was making world-class gingerbread houses in California. I'm not just here to build a house. I'm here to build a home. There's that one girl, Jake, I think. She's just making beef with everybody. I, I didn't kill your grandma. You hit her back. with a bean. Hi, my name's Jake. Short Jacqueline. I thought this was for HGTV, but I'm here. But um, yeah, I'm not here to lose. I'm winning. I don't know. Hi, I'm Garth. I'm from Minnesota. I want to prove to my ex that I can do what I set out to do. Um, my ex left me for my roommate. I, I've had my, that cat for like three years, and then it just went and slept on Mike's bed. I didn't. I don't deserve this. I don't. Um, and so I just need to show them that I can make a gingerbread house. My name is Brian. Um, I'm 23. I'm from. The great state of North Dakota, yeah. Fargo, actually. I've really connected with, with the crew and the hosts and the judges. They're just all such wonderful people. Bruce Nyquil, Bruce Nyquil is the real hero here. He's the cornerstone of this show. And I really appreciate that. Uh, hello, my name is Aaron uh, with an E. Uh, I have not been great at building things. So far, uh, it's a little hectic. Um, still kind of crushing things by mistake. I don't know why, it's just right when I get to the moment of where it's gonna look good, I just, it's good, high five! No, 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 no. Aaron, I have to say, a couple minutes ago, I was really impressed. Right now, not so much. What happened? Well, uh, you see, I, I might have uh, messed up. That's with... terribly sad. Moving on. Garth, I have to say, I am loving the shape of your house here. Thanks, I, I'm going for the barn look. We've got these bushes out front. And that's the chimney. Clever, mm -hmm. clever. Let me ask you, Scott, have you ever seen a farmhouse before? Yeah, I'm really trying, man. I'm trying really hard, but I'm really bad at this, and it's just not looking how I want it to. It just is not looking like a house. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it winds up looking like a dick or something. With just five minutes remaining, our contestants are really starting to feel the heat. Oh, Jesus Christ, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Every single house on this board is looking very, very disgusting. The only one who's good here is Charlotte and I. Hey! 30 seconds! What's that supposed to mean? See what I mean? Are you lying? Every Barbie house. Every Barbie house. A Barbie house. That's what happened. Tell me you don't speak your head. I'm not with Grandma. Why? You are a Shut up! I'm free! I don't know any more. No, it's a matter of what. Drop your utensils and mediums. Okay, Charlotte. Tell us what you made for us. This is my house. Um, it's eco-friendly. The roof is fitted with gorgeous marshmallows and sour rainbow belts. And then inside of the house, there is a jelly bean ball pit. Wow. Um, there's a lot of potential here. I'll give you my number after this, and you should give me a call. Thank you. Well, Charlotte, I must say, you really embody the, the message of the show. Really good artists coming in and showing other artists how bad they are. Thank you, Charlotte. 
Next, please. Next up, we have Aaron with his offering. Aaron, please begin. Okay, so originally I was uh, trying to make my childhood home. Uh, you can see the various pieces of siding and wall and rebar just sticking out of the ground. Uh, you know, but uh, yeah, so even though I'm accident prone, I made something. So. Uh, I just don't know how you expect me to judge this. Um, you try to apply meaning to it, but all I see is a load of crap, so. The way that you've used a deconstructed gingerbread house to make a cutting remark about modern society, it just, it speaks to me on so many levels. You're an artist, truly, truly an artist. All right, next up, please. Okay, Gar, go ahead and tell us about your uh, structure. Well, my structure is of uh, the barn I grew up on. Um, I added a little garnish around the sides um, just because I thought it would look nice. And I just really miss my cat. And I tried today. Gave it my all and put everything I had into it. And at the end of the day, I guess it really did just wind up looking like a butt. Big, stinky butt. That's all it is. It's just a wet, smelly, it's okay, no. hairy, it's okay. slimy, crusty butt. Oh my god. Well, uh, judges. I hate that you think that way, Gold, because you know, cooking, baking, it's an older street. And I really admire how vulnerable you've been with us, with your story. And I just want you to know. That I heal you. So. Arthur, any thoughts? Garth, when you when you look at yourself in the mirror, do you do you see a broken man? <laughs> because you should. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Just look. I at don't it. want it. Awesome. The, the bushes. The bushes. We see the bushes, Garth. We understand. What about that. the goldish? The icing at the top. It's All a right. metaphor, and you there's, wouldn't get it. There's art, and then there's just shock. Goth, I got to say, it's quite a well sculpted penis you've got. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy! Well, Garth, um, thank you for presenting today. Uh, we will uh, circle back. Uh, next, please. Well, Jake, tell us about your structure here. It, it's a house. We got spackle, we've got foundation with a Rice Krispie tree, we've got spouting, we've got drainage. And we even got insulation in the roof, so that way it does have AC and heating, unlike Charlotte's. It's a two bedroom, two bath, it's a house. Obviously. Judges. Respectfully, Jake, was it? You are bad at this. I'm bad at gingerbread making. Jake, you're very clearly a competent craftsman, but it just it doesn't thrill me. Honestly, when I was working the Omega Bee, back in my youth, we used to look for things that were exciting, that had value outside of just, well, existing, and this just... I mean, if I scrolled past this on Bumbler or Twitler or whatever social media they have in the future... Bumbler? Bumble, you've never heard of Bumbler. You've never... you've heard of Bumble. You've heard of Twitter. Some genius tech startup down in SoCal has combined them both into Bumbler. Do you use it? I Let's hear from the that. actual one that cooks here, huh? Yes, Chef, please. Let's say your opinion now. No one cares about your gingerbread house because there's no soul behind it, and it's lackluster. And I'm sorry, but you do you care? Your attitude. I don't care. Once do you we kill? agree with something. I really don't care, and I'd like her to be escorted out of the competition. Yes, actually. please leave. Can we have that I thought? work so hard on this. All right, Jake. that family in there. Really? I'm escorted out. You got that by Garth. You got that by Aaron. And I'm being escorted out. Be Jake, awesome. No one gives a shit. So please exit the premises. Project Bread Ginger Edition is...